Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be doing a simple but sparkly golden eye look with the Scott Barnes Snatural Palette. If you would like to become a member of our Glowing Gluten Free group, please go ahead and show your support by subscribing, like this video, feel free to share, and always leave me comments of any looks that you would like to see me create or if you have any gluten free questions or videos that you would like me to create pertaining to gluten free makeup, skincare, hair care, food items, anything like that. So. We are going to go ahead and dive right in, and so this is going to be a fairly quick and simple look, light but glamorous looking, but not super heavy and dark. I have my base makeup on already. I put on a coat of mascara and curled my lashes because I cannot for the life of me curl my lashes without messing up my eyeshadow. So, okay, so I'm going to lay down my transition shade with the Scott Barnes 6-3 Eye Winger Brush. And I'm going to dip into the colors Vintage and Retro. I'll show you these two colors right here. Here is Vintage and here is Retro. I'm going to mix the two together to create kind of a warm brown transition shade. Tapping off the excess. And now I'm just going to go right into the crease. You kind of use this brush to fluff the color from the crease almost up into the brow bone. And if you don't have this palette, feel free to follow along with any colors that are similar. You can kind of follow along this tutorial and it will be easy to come up with a look that's very similar to this one or that's just going to be pretty using the techniques and using the colors that you love. And I'm taking this color and I'm kind of winging it out along the side here because I don't want to go in and give a corner definition yet. Give a nice little sweep of color. All right, so now I'm going to take my e.l.f. smudger brush and I'm going to go into the same colors, vintage and retro. And I'm taking this color all along the lash line today. And going a little bit lower also than I usually do. Now I'm going to take my Pure Minerals Flat Eyeshadow Brush and I'm just going to dip it into Laced, which is just a light golden color. And I'm going to pop it right underneath my brow bone and on the inner corner of my eye and also right underneath the inside corner of the lower lash line. And you can see this color is just a nice light golden color. And again, if you don't have this palette or you wanna do a look that's similar to this one, just choose golden colors that are either a little bit lighter than your skin tone or a little bit darker and it'll all blend seamlessly and be very beautiful. I love that color laced, it just brings a little bit of light to the look. And I'm also going to pop a little bit of lace with the same brush right along my lid. Now I'm going to go into this beautiful color right here called Hollywood. It's definitely one of the more sparkly shades. So I'm gonna go into this flat brush by Morphe. It is the M124, and it's just a flat, little bitty brush. 
and I'm just going to gently tap into the color and tap off the excess because I just want a light wash of this color across my lid. So let's see how it goes here. Nope, I think I'm gonna switch my brush and back to the Pure Minerals. I think I want more. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with my finger now. It's all about trial and error. This is the first time I'm really working with this sparkle shade or the formula of the sparkle shade. And so, testing out different ways of applying it. It's just part of the learning process. See, that is giving me more of the payoff in color that I was looking for. So now I'm just gonna go in on the other lid. So now I'm happy with how the colors have paid off as far as the color Hollywood on my lid. So I'm actually gonna go back and add a little bit more of the transition shade, which is something you can always do as you're building an eye look. I find that I do it pretty frequently, is after I lay down a darker color or I put a color on my lid that's a little bit more bold, I find myself going back and adding a little bit more of a transition shade just to give it a little bit more of a pop. I'm actually taking this color now, the same transition shades, Retro and Vintage Mixed, and I'm actually kind of buffing it out from my eye. I want this look to be very soft and blown out without any harsh lines. So you can't really tell where one color starts and another ends. Now I'm going to pop into Starlet, which is this color right above Hollywood. And I'm going to take a little bit of it and pop it right into the center of my lid. And just a little bit. Just to add a little bit of dimension to the lid without adding a bunch of darkness. You want to do this straight up from your pupil if you're looking straight on and then just kind of lay it down kind of where you can tell where your eye kind of pops out the most on your lid where it's the most rounded and just do a straight up and down line and then you can kind of blend it out just a little bit so it's not just a streak of color on your lid now I'm going to go into the color Foxy right here, and I'm just going to take a little bit on it on my e.l.f. smudger brush and just go right on the outer third, I guess outer half of the lower lash line just to get a little bit of definition there. I popped on Starlet in the center of my lid. I went ahead and with my finger, I just dotted on a little bit more Hollywood on the inside and outside corners, just where I had kind of brushed it off when I was moving that transition shade out a little bit more towards the edges of my eyes. I had noticed that I had kind of brushed it off a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this look with a little bit of mascara. And I think this blown out golden eyeshadow look is almost complete.
All right, so this eyeshadow look is complete. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully following along with me as I was creating this look. I really enjoy how this turned out. I think that it's light and it's fresh looking and it's not too dark and heavy, but you still definitely get some glamour and some shimmer, which I always enjoy. So thank you for spending this time with me. And again, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave me comments about what kind of videos you would like to see or looks you would like me to create. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. God bless. Bye.